What's good everybody? Welcome back to another news type video, but not really news. Last time I did a news video, my channel almost dropped to the deepest hole in existence of YouTube. So we gotta have to redo this shit. Kid Gara is basically next door and I gotta throw my predictions on my boy Gara. Now, if you got other predictions or agree with mine, be sure to share your thoughts in the comments. And please subscribe, we gotta hit 400, bro. Just please subscribe, bro. Alright, let's just use our brains for a minute, let's think this logic. If this is the kid version of Gara, we should be seeing Jutsu's my boy used in his youth. So maybe, we could maybe get a reworked Sand Shield that maybe, just maybe, work in some way like Susano armor. Uh, make it so we can run with it normally and uh, to break after some hits and when it breaks it deals additional damage to people around you. Cause, you know, we gotta nerf this Jutsu a bit so it doesn't become unstoppable. For the next Jutsu, I swear to god I don't have any fucking ideas. My boy in the OG show was just throwing sand here and there and when he felt attacked he just hit in a fucking sand ball. Don't get me wrong, we love our boy Gara, but in the OG show he had the most repetitive Jutsus, even Naruto used the Rasengan less. Uh, but for the Ulf, I think everybody has the same exact idea. Uh, the Shukaku one tail transformation and look. When we talk about Kids Gara future class, this is really a hard thing to think about because we already got Gara on defense. There are small chances Kid Gara would be defense too, but not zero. Then we have ranged, and I was gonna say that the next guy in line, which is Sasori, may be ranged because that's exactly how a puppet user fights. Are you serious right now, bro? So that leaves us with two classes attack and heal. Attack is my favorite class in the game, but we already got three tailed beast transformations in there. We got Gyuki transformation, we got Kurama Link mode, and we got Badian mode. So. They are some crazy ass human beings to actually add the fourth one. So with that in mind, with deep regret, I gotta say there are some huge chances he might be healer. I know what some of you may feel right now and I know that it is not the first time we encounter this experience, if I can say that. But let's hope they surprise us in some good way and make him defense. That would be honestly the right thing to do. One thing and I'm gonna be done here, I do believe at some point in the game we gotta be able to do this and I don't think they are gonna introduce another Gara variant for some time. So maybe this might be the right time to actually add it to the game. It's not something that Gara did very often in the OG show but it is a simple thing when you think of it. And I think Kid Gara was able to do this, but he didn't do it very often. Uh, I'm talking about a special new substitution in the game that comes with this DLC. And try to imagine something similar to Kaguya Sub, but instead of going to another dimension, we float with the help of a Sand Cloud. In, in my mind that sounds cool and maybe we can get this when he drops out, because we know it's possible, we know that it can be added to the game because of Kaguya. So why not? And if you want me to do another video regarding Sasori and my predictions, even though it's pretty early for that, I can do that. But uh, that's all my thoughts on Kid Gara. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe for more Shinobi Striker content. Uh, thank you for watching. God bless you and see you next time.